Hello everyone, welcome to my new video, the Carrick vs. the M2, Herc M2. Now, if you're new to Star Citizen and you haven't joined yet, go use my referral link down in the description. That would really help me out. Also, don't forget to check out channel memberships and everything in the description. So, we're going to get into this. So, we know that these two ships are similarly sized. They're not too far off. Now, I know these two have completely two different intentions inside the verse. So, the reason being that I'm putting these two like head to head to see if they're sort of compare like comparison just to let you you know decide which one's better is that because these two have got such vast career differences between the two it sort of made sense to compare them with price wise so i know it's very contradictory to say that but it's at the same time a valid argument to compare these two i know a lot of you people won't well, no, a lot of the people won't like this, but it's just how it is. So, in the first sort of argument, I know that the H or well, the M2 has got the similar amount of cargo to the Carrick, but the M2 has 522 SEU, where the Carrick has 456. So, they're both military based sort of ships, but one is designed to specifically do ground ops sort of stuff. Uh, the other one's specifically designed to explore. Now I know um, the M2 can take vehicles, like a lot of them, and it can take two tonks. But my argument on this is its functionalities. Now I think these are great ships, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to you know, hate on it anymore. It is a great ship, I do fly them around, I do just sort of use it to get around and explore, have a look, just to see how they, they fly. Now I didn't really notice a massive difference between the C2 and the M2. The M2 does fly a little bit heavier. It's it's not really a massive difference. Like the C2 and the M2 aren't really that big a difference. What I have noticed though is if you put a tonk, one tonk in the front of your herc or the back, it is so freaking hard to lift that thing off the ground. Like it, I lifted off before with the tonk in the front and the back end lifted and the, I had to lift the nose. I had to wait for the nose to catch up. I sort of had to pull back and lift that nose it was insane i couldn't believe it. i was like what so going over that as well as the pure functionality of these two ships obviously the carrick has completely something else in mind where the herc has its own thing in mind and it's not really the functionality behind it isn't almost as much as what the carrick would have obviously having its scanning stations it's um it's droids so it's going to have droids on it where you can repair refuel rearm i guess and it's going to do a lot more other things than that. And you've also possibly got a 3D printer on that thing. So the functionality behind it is pretty cool. So as you can see on this ship, um, it's got quarters in it as well for crew members. It's got showers, it's got toilets, it's got an armory, it's got um, a few rooms on there. Now the armory is pretty insane. So you can hold a few, few sets of armors in there. And the weapon rack is massive, so it looks like you can also hold a rocket launcher and a railgun. So that's sort of something to have a look into if that's what you're into. Now, <clears throat> as you can see down the back of the ship there, there's not really anything. It's just sort of a, like a maintenance area, but there's nothing there. Like you can't open anything at the moment. So as you can see, you've got your crew quarters here as well. And this is where your armor is. You can, this is where like off to the left, you can hold your weapons. It looks like you can hold... Um, Rail guns and rockets there. Obviously, you can hold a few sets of armor. I didn't spend too much in this room here. <clears throat> Obviously, this is where extra crew members can sit when you are flying into Atmo and going to do what you need to. And then they can go down to the elevator to the lower deck and then jump in a tonk or a vehicle and do as they need to. <clears throat> now, the reason being that I've done this between these two ships is obviously that they are very similar in size. They're both... They're both uh, military ships, both UAE ships, and the fact that one is a transport military, the other one is expedition, sort of brings to the argument, will the Herc be able to do that better or the same? Because that holds 80,000 fuel, but the way they've done it is it possibly uses more fuel and it actually costs a lot more money to refuel, which has got a lot of people upset, which I kind of get, but I guess it is what it is they've done that because that the fact that they want people to think about, do they really need to take that ship out? Do they really want to do what they're doing with that ship or can they take another ship out and do that as well? So it's sort of up to you and to figure that out. Now, the price between the two is very different. So the Carrick is 600 at the moment. It's 625 for the Expedition. Now, the M2 has gone up in price, I believe, to 520. I still have one in my buybacks for 480. Um, 
so it's all yeah it's all dependable on what you want to do with the ship i'm not going to argue that the herc isn't a good ship yes there are many functionalities behind it yes you can go cargo running in it yes you do have the size 4 gimbal or size 5 weapons which do a lot of damage but don't forget you've also got a 600i which is smaller and it takes three size fives or three size four gimbal which is something else to take into consideration do you really want to spend the amount of money that you're going to spend on the fuel in the herc or do you want to go take a 600i out and do the exact same thing but again it comes down to whether or not you want to use that ship specifically for moving vehicles from one location to another to go and then do some ground op missions and uh, maybe do some cave exploration or do whatever it is that you want to do or an org battle sort of do some role playing in it it's all up to you let me know down in the comments what you think you are going to use these ships for like i said i'm not going to hate on them i'm not going to put one hate onto another ship yes it could have been biased but i feel for my money that the carrick is worth more than what the m2 would be just purely because of the functionality i don't have any use for transporting ground vehicles around which in my mind makes sense i mean in your mind it might make sense to pay the amount that you're going to pay for the m2 rather than the carrick but it again we're very completely two completely different people so let me know down in the comments what you think and which one you're going to go for because it would be very interesting to see what you guys think. But that's been Baron. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the verse.